Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to be demonstrating how to create a service called Uptime Kuma in Docker on Proxmox in a Docker container. So this service is basically used to monitor all of your home lab services at home and to see if any services have gone down or if they are up and how they are running. So let's hop over to the computer and I'll show you how to do it. Alrighty, so now that we are over on the computer, I just wanted to show you a couple things and give you a brief run through of Kuma so you better understand what it is. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? So, Uptime Kuma is basically a monitoring service that I personally like to use to pretty much monitor everything I have running in my home lab environment. So you can see here I have Cloudflare and Google which are web hosts. Um, these are what I use to proxy all of my services. So um, basically with Kuma, you can see when they're up and when they're down. So I have Heimdall, Nextcloud, Nginx, Uptime Kuma, and my VPN all running in containers. These containers are located on my Proxmox server, which is labeled as a server right here. So if Proxmox goes down, all of my containers will go down with it, as well as my virtual machine right here that I have running my Plex media server. So a separate server I have apart from Proxmox is my home NAS, which NAS stands for Network Attached Storage, which you can see it here. If I open up my file browser, you can see here this is my NAS, and it has 925 gigabytes available of 3.28 or 3.82 terabytes. So this is pretty much where I store all of my data, my important files, and my Plex media, such as my movies and my television shows. So you can see here my movies folder and my television shows. So um, this is pretty much Uptime Kuma if a service does go down which I will demonstrate right here so we can simply just take Heimdall right here and we will shut down Heimdall press yes so the best part about having Uptime Kuma is when a service goes down you can link it to your discord and create a discord server and dedication for notifications now that I shut down Heimdall, um, because of the fact of that I am using an OBS um, recording software, it has my notifications disabled. So actually, if you travel over here to Uptime Kuma, you can see a number one. And you can see over here that Heimdall is officially down with the IP address of Heimdall and that it can't get any pings. So it says 10 packets transmitted, zero received, 100% packet loss with a time of 206 milliseconds. You can see here now Heimdall has 99.84%. Um, so this is within a 24 hour time period. And you can see here that it is down and you can actually click on the service and you can actually see the exact time and the exact moment when your service went down. So um, as I was explaining earlier about the notifications, if I open up my Discord here, you can see I have a Discord server named Server Alerts for Uptime Kuma. And you can see here, October 10th at 10.43 p.m., my bot notified me from Kuma that my service Heimdall went down. And it gives me the URL and lets me know that, hey, we tried to ping it, but there's 100% packet loss, so it is down. So now, if I travel back over here, start back up Heimdall. Once we get logged in here, alrighty, we go ahead and clear that. And now, just to test it, we will go travel to Heimdall. Now you can see here Heimdall is working again. And if we go back to Kuma. Alrighty, and there you go. So now I have just been notified that Heimdall is back up and running. It is up. The service is pingable. So now we go over to our Discord 
and you can see here 1046 from Kuma your service Heimdall is up so um, Kuma has notified me through discord that Heimdall went down and Heimdall's back up so that's pretty much the brief run through of what Kuma is but now I'm going to show you the fun part and how to actually install Kuma yourself on your server and get this connected to all your services and get it running exactly how you like it okay any questions before I go on from here I really understood that well. So let's jump right in. First things first, what we're going to do is we're going to be using Docker to install Uptime Kuma. So to use this, um, I will share this link down below in the description. But if you go to GitHub, there is an excellent page right here that demonstrates how to install Uptime Kuma using Docker. And there's actually a simple command right here that is used to run uptime kuma so we're going to travel over here go into that docker container that i was talking about in an earlier video um, i will also link that video down below on how to create a docker template go ahead and hit clone full clone we're going to go ahead and name this we're going to name this kuma test and we're going to go ahead and press clone Alrighty, so now you can see here that the configuration container is creating. Now the thing with doing these clones is they don't spin up automatically, so you do actually have to click on the container over here, and you have to click on start. We're just going to go ahead and get logged in here with root. And now we're going to go ahead and clear this, and we will travel back over to GitHub. Go ahead and copy this line of code and drop this into your container and press enter. Alrighty, so now that that's done, we're just gonna do a simple Docker PS. And you can see here now uptime coma it has been created six seconds ago. Status is up for five seconds. It is now at the starting status and it can be located at the host port of 3001. So what we're going to do from here is we need to find that host port of the container. So we're just going to do an IP address or actually you can actually just do an IP add and press enter right here you can see the IP address of the container which in my case it's 83 create a new tab and we're just gonna simply type in 192.168.0.83 on port 3001 and press enter and there's uptime Kuma so now you can go ahead and create an account for this we're just gonna name this test there you go. Okay, so now that we are in Uptime Kuma, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to create your first service. So just go ahead and click Add New Monitor. We're going to go ahead and change this to a ping. And right here for friendly name, we're just going to go ahead and name this Proxmox. And I'm going to go ahead and use my Proxmox server. And down here, we can add in a tag. So I'm just going to go ahead and name this server. So it says it's already existent, but it's because I've already done it up here, but I'm just going to demonstrate how to do it. You just type in server and then you can pick the color that you want to specify to it. Um, but since I've already made it, I can just click the drop down and click right there. Okay. So now server has been added. It is says ping proxmox and IP. You just click on save and there you go. So now you can see the service is up and everything has been added successfully. You can see Proxmox over here at 100% with server tag. And this will ping and it will check every 60 seconds. So now I'm going to show you how to basically get um, Discord to notify you based upon your up and down of Kuma. You can see here once you're in Kuma and you have your service and you want the notifications, you can just click up here in the corner and click on settings. You can go to notifications. And you can see here that we are not available, please set up. So we can click on set up a notification method. Um, the notification method that we can use, let's see here. We can go ahead and use Discord right here. 
So the friendly name that we want to use for this, we're just going to call this Kuma. And we're going to want a Discord webhook URL. And the bot display name, we'll come back to this webhook URL. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But coming down here, the bot display name, we'll just leave it as uptime Kuma prefix. That's fine. And what we're going to want to do is get this webhook URL. So we need to go into Discord. We need to come over here and click on add a server on Discord. You're going to do create my own for me and my friends. And we're going to go ahead and name this Kuma test. Go ahead and hit create. You're going to click on this arrow right here and you're going to go into your server settings. Okay, so once you're in your server settings right here, you're actually just going to go over here to apps, go to integrations, and you can see webhooks. Go to create a webhook. We can just name this Kuma. And go ahead and copy the webhook URL. Now we will go ahead and press save changes and escape. Come over here, go ahead and paste in your link, hit save, and there you go. So now Kuma is set up by default, so anytime you add a service, it will go on. Just to make sure it's on there, you can click on your service right here. And I believe if you go under edit, yes, you can see notifications on the side right here, Kuma. You can go ahead and turn that on and click on save. Alrighty guys, so that was a quick rundown of how to create uptime Kuma in a Docker container on Proxmox. I just want to thank everybody for watching and remember, like, comment, subscribe and have a great day.